When you realize that everyone is wrapped up in their own bubbles of insecurity, then making content becomes a hell of a lot easier. Here's why. One of the biggest roadblocks I encounter with our client's social tree on a daily basis is insecurity and imposter syndrome. I'll tackle the first one, insecurity. So many people are afraid of creating content on LinkedIn because they are scared of what other people think about them. But let me tell you that even if you did the most embarrassing thing on LinkedIn, and I speak to you as an expert on this, having dressed up as various different characters and fancy dress on LinkedIn and embarrassed myself time and time again on LinkedIn Live, that even if you did all of that and more within reason, within two days or even less than that, no one would even remember what you did because everyone is wrapped up in their own bubbles of insecurity. So that thought may terrify you initially. You may think, well, actually, no one really cares about me. And yes, outside of your friends and family and some colleagues, ultimately, no one cares about you, really. Your life is pretty insignificant. And I mean that in the most respectful way. But when you actually realize that and extrapolate that fact, that in the grand scheme of things, will a video actually have any impact on your career if you say the wrong word or speak slightly out of turn or, or you don't look or you don't think it looks great? And no, no one really cares. And I think that thought really liberated me when I started creating content. I realized that ultimately I should create content because in many ways it's a good thing if I get some feedback, even if it's negative, because someone's actually taking the time to even look at my content. And it was this thought which really liberated me. So when I speak to customers and clients, I always tell them that in the long run, no one cares about anything when you zoom out further. So you should just start creating content, start pushing stuff out there and people will probably forget they even posted within the next few hours because everyone is in their own bubbles of insecurity. And the second thing is imposter syndrome. This is a massive problem people have when it comes to content. People feel like they aren't qualified to talk about certain topics. And in many instances, this may be true, but if you are seriously thinking about content, you're seriously contemplating whether or not you should say something on, on LinkedIn, then what that tells me is that by even thinking about that and having the insecurity or, or, or the, the foresight and self-awareness to think about whether or not you have knowledge shows me you have enough to be speaking about that topic area. And even if you don't, there are areas in your life where you can talk about stuff as an expert. Imposter syndrome is massive. It can eat away at you and it can really limit your ability to not only produce content, but advance yourself in your career. As an entrepreneur, I am always... Uh, and, and give you know suffer the the feeling of imposter syndrome should I be here should social tree be in this pitch but I remind myself that yes I should be there and yes I should be speaking about this stuff because I've spent the last seven years honing my craft and delivering real value to our clients so if you can overcome those two big insecurities imposter syndrome and the fear of other people think then you'll create content which is better and at a much faster speed <laughs>